Good morning, friends, and welcome to Tuesday, January 19th. James Montney will start us with Just As I Am. Devotions are from the Upper Room Discipline, written by David Fetterman. And our scripture this morning is Jonah 3, 5 to 10. And the people of Nineveh believed God, and they proclaimed a fast, and everyone, great and small, put on sackcloth. And when the news reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, removed his robe, and covered him with sackcloth, and sat in ashes. And then he had a proclamation made in Nineveh. By the decree of the king and his nobles, no human being or animal or herd or flock shall taste anything. They shall not feed, nor shall they drink water. Human beings and animals shall be covered with sackcloth and they might shall cry mightily to God. And all shall turn from their evil ways and from the violence that is in their hands. Who knows, God may relent and change his mind. He may turn from his fierce anger so that we do not perish. And when God saw that what they did and how they turned from their evil ways, God changed his mind about the calamity that he had said he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. You know, there's an old saying, leopard never changes its spots. In other words, people don't change. That, however, does not appear to be God's attitude. God constantly calls for our transformation, showing us a new way, a new way of love and peace and hope, a way that changes us and makes us new. Today's story is one of many examples in scripture of, of changed lives. Jonah didn't believe that his enemies in Nineveh would, could change. In fact, he hoped that they wouldn't change. He wanted God to punish them for their evil, warring ways. His sermon, however, was more powerful than he imagined. The people came to believe in God and their lives were changed. Their king told them to join in him when calling fervently on God. God saw that the people's hate-filled ways had stopped. And as a result, God rescinded the plan for their destruction and forgave them. These Assyrian leopards had indeed changed their spots. God is a God of transformation and forgiveness and love. The hateful can become loving. The liar can become truthful. The disdainful can become respectful. With God leading the way, transformation can and does happen. Sometimes we are the leopards who are called to change our spots. Thanks be to God for the loving and forgiving love that pers relentlessly pursues us and gives us a second chance. Because of God's mercy and grace, we sinful leopards can change our spots too. Let us pray. O oh God of hope and transformation, guide us to discern areas in our lives where we need to change. Lead the way that we may be transformed by your love. In Jesus' matchless name, amen. And our closing hymn is, I Surrender All. To Jesus I surrender, all to him I fearly give. I will ever love and trust him in his presence daily live. I surrender all, I surrender all.
surrender all, all to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Be blessed this day and know that you have a second chance in the God.